Okay, this video is going to show now that we've got the power hooked up to the DMX controller and we've got the LEDs hooked up, now we need to hook up the signal. That's not only so that we can program it with our Holiday Core programmer or other RS-485 device, but also to control it. All right, if you order the deluxe kit, number three, you'll receive a cable. We're just going to cut this in half. And we're going to pull back some of the sheathing off the end here. Now try to do this without nicking the cable. And if you nick it, just go ahead and back it off there and then try re-removing it there. Okay, now in this case, I nicked it again, so we're just going to go ahead and do it one last time, hopefully, here. Okay, now, the only cable we're going to need in here is the orange and white orange. That is the pair that is used for DMX in a normal DMX setting. Now, if you're using these with LOR controllers, there's some other different options you have. If you want to run your LOR controllers in DMX mode, if you want to use an LOR uh, dongle, you can either build an adapter to adapt it to the standard, which is the orange pair, or adapt it using LOR's wiring scheme. Now, see our website for additional information on hooking that directly to an LOR type dongle. Now, uh, we've got the wire stripped off. I've go ahead and tin the ends here. All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and just tri trim off this black wire. That black wire is a ground wire, and we don't typically use it. No controller in the lighting industry that I'm aware of uses that uh, within the holiday lighting industry. Now, this is where it's important. What we need to do is we need to wire the blue wire on the controller to the orange wire on the Cat5 cable. So we're just going to light the blue wire. And the red wire on the controller is going to go to the white-orange wire. Okay. Oop. As you can see here, that was not a successful connection there. Give that a go again. Okay, give it a tug, make sure it's all uh, properly connected. Give it a little bit of heat here. Isolate those, you don't want those shorting out. Okay, we now have our uh, Cat5 connection made to our entire test rig here. And now what we want to do is go ahead and test it.